Hallo liebe Leute und herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Folge von The Walking Dead Part 4 ist am Start und wir haben in der letzten Folge viel erfahren, viel preisgeben müssen, mehr oder weniger eine neue Gruppe kennengelernt und die haben natürlich auch wieder Probleme. Der Vater ist herzkrank, Glenn ist da, steckt in einer Bredouille, unsere Eltern sind wahrscheinlich tot und wir müssen irgendwie in die Apotheke reinkommen. Jetzt gucken wir mal, wie es weitergeht. Na, komm. Na, da geht's nicht rum. Dann wollen wir mal schauen. Wir müssen ja ihr Bescheid sagen. Oh, sie braucht Batterien. Wir müssen noch was mit ihr reden. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter. Especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Mhm. Woran arbeitest du? What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. Mm, nothing. Well. Yeah. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. Ich wette, die liegen hier irgendwo rum. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Ah. Das ist die erste. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Postkarte. Oder war das gleich zwei? Das ist eine, oder? This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Hmm. Was hier drin? Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Ja, ja, ist ja gut. <lacht> Oder natürlich hinten in dem anderen Raum. Warte, wir sollten mal. Batterie. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? So. Ja, das war ja einfach. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Hey, Carmen. Um, you ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Wo ist Glenn? Er wird bestimmt oben sein, oder? Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! Uh, rain then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen. I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, I 
heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me and, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Das wird ja immer komplizierter und verworrener. Die Geschichte. So Art Gutsmenschen, jedem versuchen zu helfen und zu retten. Die würden das nicht für uns tun. Ich glaub mal. Okay, das ist der Plan. Wir wissen nicht, wie schwer es wird, sie aus dieser Tür zu kommen. Ja, es ist gebrochen. Also müssen wir alle von ihnen töten. Ruhig, die Leute attrakieren diese Dinge. Jetzt lassen wir uns schauen. Wir müssen uns schauen. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Okay. gonna do with that I don't really know do you have any tricks for getting into cars not without tools or making a bunch of noise and none with pillows was können wir machen überlegen einschlagen wäre eindeutig zu laut Aber auch keiner versucht mal die Tür aufzumachen, ne? So wegen. Aber noch weiter nach rechts. Okay. Na komm. Jetzt geht doch nach rechts noch. We need to find a weapon. Du hast eine Waffe. Wie können wir da hin? Was können wir machen? Einschlagen wäre eindeutig zu laut. Probieren, das ist das Einzige, was ich machen kann. Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows.
Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. Zündkerze. Hier rüber. Nehme ich mal an, das ist auch nicht schlimm. Ah, da kommen wir jetzt hin. Oh, das ist ja noch einer. Ja, wir müssen zu dem Auto darüber. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. So, dann müssen wir wieder hier rüber. Dahin. Hier rüber. Spannung früher. Wenn wir den greifen, packt wir doch unsere Hand.
Just dois. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's cool. Now we've got this. Oh. Are you two done? Einer der wichtigsten Waffen. Die man haben kann. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. you help it's too late for that guys she's been bitten what i told you i said go away i'm bit but you wouldn't just leave let's calm down you could be fine i won't be fine my boyfriend was bitten you get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find you have a boyfriend when i don't want that it's not christian please just leave me please go Come with us, and we'll find you some help. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me. We need to get going. Give it to me, please! This is crazy. Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up, please! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. That's all just... No, no! Oh shit. Shit! Here they come! Get in! Everyone alright? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out of won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. So. 
Ja, wir müssen... Das ist heftig. So. Das ist heftig. Jetzt hat sie sich ja selber abgeknallt. Eine Patrone weniger. Oh, die reden. Hey there. Die drei. Na klar, was war, was war loben. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <lacht> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me. And I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps or, or ghouls or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, uh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio. That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding and I hit the blogosphere. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. <coughs> so. Mädel. Batterie noch falsch rum reingemacht. You fixed it. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Oh. That radio sign off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. Good. Never all duck not Louis. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? No. <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh. Huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Oh. Ach du Scheiße. more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. 
We better keep it down out of here. I can't reach that brick. Look at the one trapped over there. Better hear than ask me. Oh shit. Look, hold up. Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. And they start rotting and get all chewed up and shut up. The uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. you end up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? Mm. I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so... You probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Well, I'll show you the photo as a proof. Think you can do anything with this? Yeah, I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much to do with it now. Man, I miss my robots. <laughs> you were a strange guy, Doug. I know. Baumarkt. Fernsehladen. Mm -hmm. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Ist das so rein? Ich muss mit ihm quatschen. Hm. Let's head back inside. Okay. Ich weiß, was wir machen müssen. Wir müssen den Gehstock holen, um den Ziegel ranzuholen. Würde ich behaupten. Ich habe eine Axt, die noch ranziehen können. Ja, wohl. Na los. Nee, doch nicht. Wäre ja auch zu einfach gewesen. Na gut, dann machen wir das anders. Dann reden wir mal mit Douglas. Einfach dann ist es nicht. Jawohl, vielleicht hat das schon was gesagt. Let's have a look around. Okay. Okay. Was aber passiert, sehen wir in der nächsten Folge wieder, Freunde. Danke, dass ihr auf jeden Fall wieder mit dabei gewesen seid. Ich hoffe, ihr habt einen schönen Tag. Und danke für alles. Tschüss.